I am up here. What are you doing up there? Just come over here and help me out. I need you to take this box. Sure. So that I can come down. How are you? All is good. You can put the box over there. Listen closely, Grandpa. I Just need your help. Just wait one second. I will grab you something to drink. Is orange juice okay or I get you something else? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I'm good. Do you want me to invent something for you? Grandpa, I don't want any inventions today. A new invention? Let's say... A shoe that walks on its own? I just need your help, that's all. First of all, what's up with you today? My stomach has been hurting all day at school and I don't know why. I went to the doctor and he gave me a medicine which helped me at first, but now it's hurting me again. Tell me, what is it hurting from? What kind of question is this? How would I know? Maybe your lunch wasn't digested? Di- what? Digested. It means it wasn't broken down. Broken down? Grandpa, you're saying strange stuff today. Digested and breaking down. What's wrong? It's not strange. It wasn't digested means if the food wasn't well broken by your teeth, then it went through the esophagus to your stomach. Then maybe your stomach didn't make enough acids for proper digestion. But as for... Uh, what are you talking about? I don't understand anything. Let's play a game to make you understand this whole digestive system. Grandpa, I'm telling you, my stomach hurts. You just wait. The game will make you understand everything. Hold on. What's this? That's Grandma's old garlic chopper? Shh. Be quiet. She might hear us and know that... Uh, we took our chopper. Now look, when we eat, first our front teeth chop and tear. The front teeth are just like the blades inside this chopper. After our front teeth chop the food, our molars grind the food. Let's try this bread. Let's try it. Okay then, we will put a little piece in here. Yeah. Let's start chopping and see what the teeth will do. Can I try? Sure, go for it. Remember, the teeth chop and the molars grind. Mm, chop, chop, chop. There, it's working, Grandpa. See? Get me a banana, please. A whole banana or just half? Half is enough. Try to push with the banana over the other stuff. Watch your finger. Take care. Don't worry. There is also something else in the mouth that helps us to swallow. And it starts the digestion process. It begins by digesting certain components called carbohydrates. What is it, Grandpa? It's saliva. Ew, is that the water in our mouth? That's right. Let's try it out to see how saliva actually helps in swallowing. Look. So does it go to the stomach after that? Yes, that's right. But it doesn't just fall straight to the stomach. Uh, get me a napkin to wipe my hands, please. Okay. And get one for yourself as well. Perfect, thank you. So food doesn't go straight to the stomach. It passes first through the pharynx, then to the esophagus, and then to the stomach. The esophagus is like this funnel. Look for a plastic bag in this box. This bag represents the stomach. Okay. And what's the stomach connected to the end of the esophagus? Okay. We will take the food that comes from the mouth and let it pass through the pharynx, the esophagus, and then to the stomach. Okay. There. Did you know that there are muscles in the esophagus that compress the food more to help break it down and move it to the stomach? All the food is in this bag, which represents what? The stomach? That's right, you got it. The stomach excretes gastric juices. What's that? Is it juice? That gastric juice 
takes the chunks and the bits of food that are in the stomach and turn them into liquid to make it useful to the body. Hold this for me. The gastric acids are like this juice. That's my juice, Grandpa. I will take a little bit for our experiment to show you how the gastric acids works inside the stomach to break down the food and turn it to liquid. Grandpa, can I try please? Like that? Since the stomach has muscles, but this bag doesn't, you will have to be the muscles. Okay. Now the stomach is breaking down the food and changing it to liquid to help benefit the body. Where does the food go after? Oh well, this is where grandma's tights come in handy. Look, <laughs> let's keep this here. You keep the stomach. Okay. We just need to clean up over here. So before we can start, mm. grandma's tights needs some adjustments. See, we are finally ready with the small intestine. Now look. Show me. The small intestine, as you can see, is really long and can be as much as seven meters long. Okay. Then we move on to the large intestine. <laughs> large intestine? I bet they're really large. Yes, they are quite large. Unlike the small intestine, which is really long. The small intestine makes sure that the nutrients from food are absorbed into your bloodstream to benefit the body. What does the large intestine do? The large intestine absorbs water from the remaining food, then takes what remains and dumps it straight to the toilet. Hold this end of the small intestine and I will try to make all this food go through it. Slowly. Uh-huh. Here it goes. The food is traveling through the small intestine. Of course, in the human body, it isn't straight like this. But if we move it close together, like this, and then move this, and then like this, it can all fit inside the body. To the large intestine? You're right. Here comes the large intestine. And now the large intestine got rid of what we don't need in the form of poop. Squeeze some more and we will be done. What a great assistant you are. Today we learned about the digestive system. All the food and drink you consume goes on a journey through your body. It starts in your mouth, where your teeth start breaking it down, along with the saliva. The saliva also makes it easier to swallow the food. Food travels down the esophagus to your stomach. In the stomach, gastric juices help break it down some more, so that it is runny mush. Food then travels through the 7 meter long small intestine. Nutrients are absorbed through the small intestine walls, and the unwanted stuff travels further on down through the large intestine. Finally, we push it out the other end. When we poop, our bodies are amazing. Well, it feels like my large intestine is full. Bye! Wait, are you going to leave me in this mess? I'm sorry, I can't keep it in. Bye! Oh, come on! Sarah! <laughs>